In the least shocking international news you'll ever hear, Iran's government has some fucked up priorities. Because currently we're seeing that instead of them going after security forces who sexually assaulted and killed a 16 year old by the name of Nika Shakarami, which is something they've had plenty of time to do because it happened at the Woman Life Freedom protest two years ago. Instead of that, they are charging the journalists who talked about the details. Right with this, coming after the BBC published a report about the incident this Monday. Although you have the Iranian government and its media describing the report as quote, fake, incorrect, and full of mistakes. Though there's also as Shakarami is hardly the only person to have died during those protests. But her death was an especially big deal because she had become somewhat of a symbol for the movement for setting her headscarf on fire. Though later that night, she texted a friend saying she was being chased by security forces and then just disappeared. But not until a week later that her family finally found her body at a local mortuary. And while you had officials claiming that she had taken her own life, her family was adamant that she was clearly beaten to death. With then the BBC relying on a leaked document from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps to get more details about her death. And the details, which are horrific, showed that an under undercover paramilitary group had infiltrated the protest and targeted her for her actions. With her then being detained in an unmarked van before being sexually assaulted, she then tried to fight them off with her attackers and getting angry and beating her to death with batons before an IRGC officer told them to dump her body on the street. So you have the Iranian government trying to hide behind the fact that fake documents from its regime apparently circulate all the time. But you have the BBC adamant that they properly vetted this one and they're confident that it is legit and truthfully details Shaka Rami's last moments. And with this, you had two journalists in the country who tweeted about the BBC's report having since been picked up themselves in charge. And one of the big things is they're not even really sure what they've been charged with, only that they've been summoned for commenting on, quote, the article about Nika Shakarami and the details of her murder. Right? And so to no one's surprise, it seems like the regime there is more concerned about claiming that they've never done anything wrong rather than try to take some accountability, with it really feeling like it's only a matter of time before another large-scale protest breaks out. And hey, hopefully eventually one of them will work.